Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I am so pleased to be doing this video. It feels honestly kind of emotional for me as you have seen by the title. It's kind of come up to like one year since I started my fitness journey which is just insane because my life has completely transformed mentally, physically, uh, like career-wise in ways that like I just would never have imagined and it's all completely down to joining the gym. Before we get into the video be sure to give this a big thumbs up it helps me out so so much. Subscribe if you'd like to see more we have like plenty of videos coming every Sunday and I'd love to have you on board. Okay so yeah I think first place to start that, that makes sense is to give you like a little bit of background. Where was I when I joined the gym? Why did I join the gym? That sort of thing. I didn't have much experience like being in a gym. I'll set the scene for you. So I was coming out of a really heavy kind of toxic relationship and I was really really low. I had always been like the kind of character to put my everything into other people and so I kind of was left in this place where I was like all of a sudden after like six years of being with someone I was alone and I'd finished uni and I'd realized that I didn't want to go into the career that path that I thought I was going to go into and I was just left like feeling so lost and I was like where do I actually go from here I was like well the only thing I can think of to do is to go maybe sign up to the gym just as a way to kind of like force myself to have this like carved out piece of my day where I'm going to prioritize myself and like try and practice this thing that people talk about called self-love. So I signed up, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing, I literally was like where do I even begin? I wanted to go with people and I'd been on like Bumble Friends trying to find a gym partner because I didn't have much confidence but I couldn't find anyone and I kind of just felt like well I don't want to rely on someone else I think this needs to come from like deep within I had this vision of this person that I knew I wanted to become and I knew that I could be and I was just like well how do I get to that person and so yeah I started the gym I used to smoke quite a lot I would like binge eat as well which I've never really spoken about but yeah I'd have problems kind of controlling my food so yeah I wasn't really doing anything like for my physical health or my mental health and I was just kind of floating <laughs> through life I didn't really know what my goals were going into it or anything like that I had like two pieces of workout clothing and I remember like searching things like shoulder workout and then I'd go in with like the screenshots and I'd just kind of like look at my phone like that. But yeah, I thought it'd be really nice to go through um, photos and like videos and stuff so that you can like see the journey because it's been like really transformative. I kind of felt quite emotional like looking back. Just because so much has changed, I kind of didn't realise just how much work I have put in to this last year and I've come so far in confidence and in like my physical appearance and yeah just like a lot it's it's kind of crazy so yeah let's jump into it without further ado okay so starting off this is the 7th of December now I did start in November not that much but I'm gonna say that I started in November but I did not like my body so much that I didn't take any photos I didn't feel confident in my body and so yeah this photo you can see I've got like quite like no no definition in like my shoulders and and my legs have always been like a pretty decent size but they had like zero definition and then yeah this is me just like at the beginning <laughs> it makes me laugh because I literally used to go to the gym with like just looking like I'd been dragged for a hedge backwards honestly it's so funny I never was really overweight but I just didn't have like any muscle definition or anything this is the 25th of December and <laughs> I literally had no idea what I was doing I mean not gonna lie the form isn't actually that bad the significance of this is this was Christmas day and my brother and I went to my gym, I go to Pure Gym which is a 24 hour one and nobody was there and I was so shy at the gym that I really enjoyed being able to just kind of run around and just actually be playful with 
the gym environment and kind of get up to th different things and it was really really helpful for me so I would say like if you do lack confidence try to like go to a gym where you can get in there at a time where there's like literally no one because I then just had no fear of being like looking silly this is like one of the first times I was like actually smiling and like I was so I remember being so in my head when I was there I, I kind of to begin with was just doing a mixture of everything like for for some reason I decided like oh I'm gonna do some skipping I, I don't I remember not particularly having like goals in mind and I think that's something that's like really important I started a gym out of a place of like wanting to improve my mental health and I think if you can f connect with a part of that within yourself then it will be absolutely transformative because the minute that you like realize that exercise and going to the gym has a benefit on your like mental health the physical aspect and side of things comes so easily afterwards at this point I was going at like three de three times a week and I was going because I remember how good the endorphins were making me feel and it was actually you know for someone who was in a really low point of their life it was actually giving me kind of some sort of purpose and a, and a kind of means to get up and go and just feel a bit better about my day and so I wasn't really at this point actually even looking for any sort of physical outcome I didn't really have any like goals in mind it was just that I wanted to live like a happier healthier life I think that's really really powerful because yeah it just comes from such a deeper place and understanding that like you're doing this to make yourself feel better and to feel happier and I, I just think you know exercise is so underrated it's like literally so underrated and I think so many people that really are struggling would benefit so much okay this is 2nd of January I'm using a leg extension I think a lot of kind of the first few months was honestly me just trying to get used to the machinery and get used to like doing things I didn't know anything about progressive overload and um, the fact that you're probably going to want to actually stick to the same exercises for a while but I almost feel like that doesn't really matter to begin with I'd never used the gym by myself and I, I wanted to get used to like okay how do I like pick up a barbell and how do I put, load the weights on and do I feel comfortable around these people going into this area of the gym so for me it wasn't really actually about outcome I mean I'm already like what three months in and I think I yeah I think there were much deeper kind of reasons for me going than just like oh uh, I want to see the gains I, that was not even on my radar I don't think I even probably wanted that to be honest so this is me 8th of January I have 60 kg on the bar very shaky legs and I have really poor depth I didn't actually realize <laughs> my depth was as bad I always thought I was good with depth I think a lot of that was probably mobility I didn't do any mobility exercises uh, and not only that I also probably didn't even know to go down that low probably was a bit too heavy to achieve that kind of depth that I was after once I started realizing that like okay this is really improving my mental health and I'm enjoying this I do remember feeling a lot of pain in my knees and uh, I remember really panicking and getting a physio re referral but I think what it actually was was that if you've gone from like no exercise to then like lifting and then even lifting like quite heavy weights your muscles can adapt quite quickly however your tendons and your ligaments will take longer so I don't think I actually I think I was getting pain because I was maybe overtraining to begin with. I was only doing maybe like three and then I stepped up to like five days, but it was just too much for my body. And just like enjoy the process, you know, enjoy the journey. Don't get so stressed about like, oh, you know, I want this outcome. This is 12th of January. I don't want to put the guy in the video, so I'm just going to like crop his face out. But this was when I like started making friends in the gym. I don't want to get his face in. I'm just going to zoom in loads. Um, so this was like a really big thing for me because like this was like the first time I started like making friends and the first time that somebody told me like, Sid, you're really strong. Like you could definitely lift more. I just re I really appreciated that. Like that was a real turning point for me where I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, yeah, this is cool. Here's a photo of me in the changing rooms. 
I just like you can see I don't have like I just don't I had like zero definition <laughs> um probably because yeah I just didn't have much mus muscles there I do remember this photo this photo so this was um like the first ever reel I think I did I don't think I was even on TikTok but I remember it was this thing uh you guys might remember it, it was like three to six months watch how like see where I am or whatever and I remember like just thinking to myself like you're gonna make this and you're gonna like commit to it and let's just see like where can you push it by six months time I mean I don't think I would have ever have thought that it'd go the way that it did but oh yeah I remember this now so then I got Covid and I was gutted I was like oh my god I'm not gonna be able to go to the gym like I'm not gonna be able to form my habit like you know I can see a bit of definition coming in in my front delt Let's see if I've got another one. Got my trousers like so high, my leggings so high up so that I can like cover my stomach. Yeah, not really much definition going on. But I think maybe I, I must have thought that there was something. I think I, I was very, as I'm sure everyone else is, very focused on glutes to begin with. <laughs> uh, funny. Yeah, so I was just doing like random exercises with like, 10 kg in my garden so I was like must do something oh we've got the bands we've got the bands I mean yeah I'm not really sure what to say <laughs> but the importance of this is that I'd really so when's that that's January so I've been doing it for like November December January and by this point I really had this like ignited fire of like I'm I'm into this I really am enjoying this and I'm sad that I can't make it in for my um like to do training or whatever this is a photo of me doing a bicep uh pose and not a whole lot of bicep there to be honest but confidence wise I can remember that this was a big thing for me to go up to the mirror and like pose and just be like yeah I'm gonna show my gains. I don't think, I, I, again, I don't even think that would be a word that was in my vocabulary. Okay, so this is cool. This is a TikTok, December, January. I think I was showing the back gains. Let's just watch it again. It did, it, it does, it does look slightly, uh, more muscles I don't know this is a video from the 7th of February I'm not even sure what that was hang on let's look at that again God, I don't even know how to comment on that when I first started I remember I was using a lot of machines because it felt the least stressful for me yeah see like here really good definition already coming through I think my back is like definitely one of my like special special areas so this is a selfie I used to go into this room I was too scared to take photos in the gym floor on the gym floor so I'd go into like one of the studios and I'd make sure it was like pretty quiet and then I'd go and uh, take photos but this is like big so this is the 25th of February and you can really see my shoulders are starting to come through to be honest I'm not sure nowhere else I think looks very visible but you can definitely notice my shoulders and actually my traps in a way up there you can notice that and I think that gave me like a push of like oh okay cool we're getting somewhere but like this is the same photo look not really much going on with the triceps <laughs> or the glutes or the back but we had hope in the, f the front delts oh don't you just love being a beginner and having the best angles <laughs> what's this um so this is the 6th of march i think what i'd been doing was by this point was training quite consistently i was training in the evenings i remember because i was working and i'd finish i was working as a nanny and i'd finish work at 8 p.m and then i would go to the gym and then i'd be there till like i think by the time that i actually got there i'd probably end up leaving at like 
11 because I had started making friends there like with these guys and they really like showed me this like side of like a gym community that I just was not even aware of and so I would train with them and then I'd been I'd done like more I, I think by this point I started to understand like oh you should start doing the same workouts you know to in, to actually see stuff happening which I think is why progress was super slow to begin with because this is already yeah what March so November December January February March so I'd already been doing it for like five months I mean maybe I was laying foundations I'm not sure I think I just wasn't really doing it I mean my my I didn't they my goals weren't to like have this massive transformation so that's probably also why but I think by this point I'd started doing exercises that I'd seen the guys that I'd been friends with doing so I think that's kind of where I'm up to with that point so this is 8th of March and this is me deadlifting oh my god <laughs> ah, my form <laughs> It's actually not that bad. I'm doing sumo deadlift, which is interesting because I um, don't do that anymore. I do conventional. I don't know something about this. It looks weird. But this video here is the one that went super, super viral because I it, it was actually my friends in the background reacting to me doing 100 kg because they were so impressed by that uh, then. And um, yeah, let's just watch how awful the form is. So you know that, you know, progress will happen. It's fine there. But I think it starts really rounding. You know what? It's actually not as bad as I remember. But yeah, so by this point I'm like comfortable. We've noticed a, definitely a progress. I think like there's a side noticing physical changes. So that's like that's that's five months in, but that's because I know that <laughs> I wasn't actually following a proper plan or anything like that. But by find by working my way through it naturally, uh, we're at five months. I am now confident using I think everything because here's a benching video which would have absolutely have terrified me, you know, to begin with and I'm doing this alone so yeah by this point I'm actually like pretty confident it seems using everything I think I've noticed changes in my body because I was photographing myself a lot more in my opinion no massive massive changes as of yet I was eating nutrition wise because I know people always ask me about this nutrition wise I was kind of like eating the same as like I normally would like kind of just intuitively uh, however, I would do this thing where like, I literally had this like ritual. I'd go to Pure Gym, I'd walk out, I'd go to the supermarket and I'd buy a chocolate flavoured protein shake. Um, oh, here's a good one. So this is a collage I've made, clearly. And this is showing December, progress, like from December to March, which is the month we're up to at the moment, um, all the progress I'd made. And that's yeah I think really noticeable I think March is when things started like really showing up gains wise and like I started noticing muscles yeah because that is like proper definition there that I just didn't have I mean that's what two months before it's pretty impressive oh here's another squatting video so this is 21st of March let's see how we're looking I've gone up 10 kg since that last video we saw Oh no, I've actually gone up way more. And depth is a lot better. A lot better actually. Yeah, so I'm wearing the knee sleeve. I don't wear knee sleeves so much now. But I was wearing the knee sleeves because my knees were really hurting. And this is 50... 60, 70. I think that's 90 kg. I didn't own a belt or anything like that to, you know, then. This is my first Gymshark set I bought. I was gassed i think i must have done this as a treat so like from from me to me so yeah 25th of march is there any more i'd made a tiktok by this point i remember that as well but i just remember feeling really like happy with where i was looking here i'm starting to do bicep poses i i remember this so well because 
I felt so confident in my body. I'd always been fairly self-conscious of my arms because they I felt like they'd never really had any shape. And this was the first time that I remember noticing like, oh, I've got um, shape on my arms. And I think that's why I'm taking photos. And I remember um, noticing gains on my glutes as well in this. And I remember just being yeah, like, oh my God starting to see changes like this is really cool we're like at the end of five months and i started really noticing changes here like can you see all along my back is starting to get like a lot more built up this was training at my friend's gym i remember thinking like oh my god the quads the abs like it's all coming through i don't my upper body still isn't so big but this was like a big turning point so if you're looking for a marker i'd been training for like five months probably like four or five days a week i i think i was thinking this earlier so this is now 7th of april i think this is the biggest that my glutes got this is the biggest my glutes have got and i think that's because i was eating calorie surplus i was i was bulking just like the exercises that i was doing and that sort of thing that would also make sense why i, I wasn't it Although it looks like I was building up muscle, you can still see that there's like a layer of fat over most most areas. I just look like a bit thicker. This is another transformation picture I think I must have made. And it's February to April. So I was wearing the same outfit. Oh, it'd be so good to do it if I still had... Someone put that on one of my TikToks saying like, you should make the same, recreate the same photos, but like with the exact same outfit. Definitely seeing growth in shoulders, and in my triceps i feel like this is the start of like you seeing the kind of back that i like everyone knows me to have now like de a lot of definition my lats are starting to come through around this time it was starting to be a lot more sunny and um so i was doing i i just remember just falling in love with exercise and um i just wanted to do it like all the time so i'd go like skating with my friends or like roller skating like if you guys have followed me on instagram for like the longest time you'll remember i always used to do it like skating sundays and i just really fell in love with just moving my body and so i was doing a lot of that at the same time as well i just thought that was worth mentioning i think the longest longest thing for me were in terms of like definition i would say would probably be my arms and my legs and i still don't really actually have that much definition um in my legs but i think this is when i first started like seeing like my quad poking through and that sort of thing and that's six months in this is six months in now but this is the kind of um food i was eating because it was like summer it started to get into like spring summertime so i was just eating like a lot of green this is generally how i like to plate things up i'd put like a lot of greens on the plate protein and then some carbs again like tuna sweet corn pasta and then um chicken rice and veg it's very easy to make so yeah i started like eating eating properly oh i remember this one look delts are starting to come forward uh forward delts are starting to come through so this is now may so we're now seven months into my fitness journey and my legs are starting to look really defined and this was my graduation outfit and i remember looking at the photos and just like here's another one and i just remember being like oh my god i'm like really actually starting to see changes you know and i think seven months in was when people started really noticing to the point where they were like not just like oh you're looking good like you're looking like you're working out it was like oh you're starting to look really different now i i definitely noticed it first within myself and then seven months in was when people started react reacting to me this is like one of the first photos where like i'm start you're starting to see like more definition in my upper body i think i'd been like really trying to put a lot of emphasis on that like making sure every week i was doing push pull legs i think uh i was doing push pull legs twice what was i doing for what was i doing on the fifth day oh and then i do a cardio day i remember that this is july time so it's like summer time everyone's starting to wear like less clothing so it's warmer outside and this is me i was going out i think i was actually going on a date i felt so honestly proud i literally was like i 
I looked at the photos, I was like, that's my bag, what the hell? So yeah, at this point, um, my muscles started like showing like in normal clothes. This is interesting. So this is July, this is 22nd of July. And I, I'm looking, I, I, I think I'm looking quite athletic, but watch what happens here, right? So this is 22nd of July, and then look how different I look kind of like 3rd of August. I started looking, I think, a lot more trimmed up. At 10 months, I start, I, I think, start looking really, really athletic. And I was just like, whoa, I look trim. Like, my stomach area is looking really, like, solid. The way that I did this was, um, everyone always says to me, like, what, drop your abs routine, da 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 And I'm like, it's literally, I think, from this point, I then had 10 months of, I use a lot of compound lifting, and I'd done, I'd had 12, um, 10 months of engaging my core. 22nd of August, got invited to Gymshark. That was so surreal. I, I remember thinking like, at this point, like, I'm not good enough to go there. Like, I do remember thinking that, and I remember like, seeing the photos because they take the photo and then it would feed through onto like a laptop and I remember being like oh my god I actually look like that what this is 26th of August went sailing with my friends also in a vlog and um yeah I was like quads the quads are coming the whole time I've been programming myself just kind of researching absorbing everything off of like TikTok which is honestly a great resource and um, Instagram. I think the biggest thing was just that I was being consistent. I literally, from the moment I started doing like three days a week and then went up to five days a week, I just stayed consistent. You know, I fell in love with it completely and wholeheartedly. And so it wasn't ever a chore. I've seen results because I just committed wholeheartedly. I think that's like a really important thing that I think a lot of people miss out on is this thing of like it isn't a chore and it shouldn't be a chore and I think you're not going to be so successful if you don't have this like deeper connection with moving your body and exercise and just seeing it as like a privilege that you get to move your body in that way wanting to have yourself in the best physical shape that you can be in because you deserve that this is fairly recently now we're we're on to 15th of september oh god i just like this photo you know i i think this photo looks i'm really pleased with it i look really like filled out on my shoulders um my core looks tight and i've got like big quads yeah so this is a session with hd athlete and like I think he has the most phenomenal, like he trains for aesthetics and he has the most phenomenal body. And like when I was doing these, like I was doing a back day with him and I was thinking like, how, how like look at the definition there. Yeah, so we're now like, what is that? No, that's 10 months. Oh my God, maths, maths has really never been my thing. But this is like started in November. We're now in September the next year. So being really consistent. I guess by this point as well, I then started having, this is just a TikTok that I made, but I started having abs, um, just like when I'm just chilling and like relax, you know, like when I'm, when I'm not posing, you can see definition there. And I think by this point, by like the 10 month mark, you started seeing definition kind of just everywhere. Um, just, just as and when, you know, like here, this is also September. I'm not posing, but like my abs, my abs are like visible there. And I wouldn't even say that was diet that much, to be honest. I think that was mostly working out. I mean, no, of course I didn't have too much weight that I needed to lose, but I think more than anything, it was just engaging my core. This is me training with Izzy. So now we're in October. Um, and yeah, just like everything looking a lot more defined, like you actually can see more leg definition there abs definition don't know what that bruise is it just appeared for no reason i just felt really proud of myself um when i saw these photos as well because i felt like yeah i've like come a long way like everything's looking really like balanced balanced as well this is really you know only the other day <laughs> i couldn't believe this my i my back is like so defined and like the, if you compare that with the first one you know, from that first, from the first month, um, 
it's just a lot of progress it's really crazy and yeah that pretty much like brings me up to like now it's the 27th of November I took this um, the other day and just looking a lot more like defined and, um, yeah and just more than anything just like just in the happiest place that I could be but yeah like here I just love I, I really love like the filled out shoulders and I think my stomach is like the lower is the most I'm not sure if it's like just the most defined it's ever been or it's got like the lowest percentage of fat I'm not really sure again I have no idea what I'm doing but yeah definitely the most muscular I've ever been and and happiest I've ever been I just I'm so pleased that I started this and I hope you enjoyed walking down memory lane with me I hope that gave you some sort of insight everything I think something to bear in mind is that everybody is completely different what works for someone might not work for another everyone's going to be starting at different points and you're all going to have like different strengths and stuff like that so um let this be inspiration more than anything to you um rather than like using it as an excuse of like oh well I've been doing it for two years why have my why is my progress not being like that just try to like take what you can from it um but I think biggest thing is is truly consistency showing up for yourself being consistent in all areas you know like nutrition I I stopped smoking and I stopped binge eating so I think that definitely helped and I just committed myself like you know I I committed myself and it was this understanding that like moving my body and exercise would really help me kind of with the mental health struggles that I was having and with like the feelings that I was feeling but yeah that is uh, uh, pretty much everything I think if you have any questions please make sure to pop them down below and I will get back to you with them any suggestions you have uh, comment them or just let me know how your day was uh, thank you so much for watching if you've got to this far in the video love you guys so much and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye